to my channel. Today I have another food review for you. Me and the kids are going to be trying the new Butterfinger bar. So I actually have the new one with the improved recipe and an older one. So we're going to taste the two and see if one of them is better or if they taste the same. The ingredients are a little bit different. Um, the older recipe looks like it has more ingredients. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that. But it has a longer ingredient list than this one. And the newer recipe has more protein, less sugars, um, same amount of calories, some more, it has more sodium, but that's the only like major differences I see in the nutrition facts. I also noticed that the older recipe does not have peanut flour, but this newer recipe does. So about a month ago, I heard a commercial or saw a commercial saying like new improved recipe for Butterfinger and I was like, why did they change the Butterfinger recipe? What was wrong with Butterfinger? But I found out that Nestle actually sold Butterfinger. It says Nestle is selling nearly $3 billion worth of its US candy brands, including Butterfinger, Baby Ruth and Nerds to Ferrero who makes Nutella. If you notice, this one says Nestle right here, and this one does not. And I didn't even realize that until I got them both home and me and my sister were looking at them comparing the packaging, and she was like, where's the Nestle logo? And then on the back it says, distributed by Ferrera Candy Company. And this one says it's distributed by Nestle. So that's the main difference. This is what Ferreira said about the new Butterfinger. It says, they started with the key ingredients, peanuts, cocoa, and milk behind this bar that people are obsessed with and love and looked at how they can make it even better. The Ferreira philosophy is that quality always wins. <laughs> um, these higher quality ingredients include US grown jumbo peanuts, which according to Mandel, allow for a more uniform and well-rounded roast. The cocoa and the chocolatey, not technically full-on chocolate coating has been upgraded as has the amount of milk in the mix with the goal of a smoother, less gritty mouthfeel and a stronger chocolate flavor. They said it's been taken up a notch. So I'm gonna get the kids in here and we are going to test these and see if the new recipe is actually better. Mm -hmm. It's good. All right, let's see. We are trying the new recipe first. Honestly, I don't notice a difference just eating the new recipe. It doesn't taste different enough that if I don't taste, like maybe I'll notice a difference when I taste the two side by side, but right now I don't notice a difference. This one apparently got a little bit melted, but it's okay. This bar, the older recipe, it says Best Buy, where was it? This is Best Buy June, so it's still got a long date on it, so it's not bad. And this one is Best Buy November. But the inside in the older recipe is definitely harder. And I do remember that. Like, I'm not a big Butterfinger eater. Um, they used to be one of my favorites, but lately, like past couple years, they haven't been. But the inside of this one is definitely harder. Like the flaky thing is not as flaky. And the oh. newer recipe, it's much flakier. This one? I think this one's better. You like the new recipe better? It's this one new. Mm-hmm. And that one is older. Like the chocolate tastes the same. And the inside tastes the same, but the older recipe is harder like to bite. This is easier to bite. So I would say the new recipe is definitely better. What do you think? The new one. The new one's better? This one tastes like caramel. Tastes like caramel? <laughs> if you've tried the new recipe of Butterfinger, let us know in the comments down below. And if there's anything else you would like us to try, let us know down below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!
Oh, my God.